Hey everyone, this is Shai with you and uh, today's video we are going to be looking at the spectrum of the Nifty and the Bank Nifty, right? Now, the spectrum is actually a look at the gamma positioning of the market. Earlier this week, uh, we did a series of videos on understanding Greeks and you can have a look at them through the forum, uh, the Greeks are all about your deltas, your gammas, your thetas and vegas and the way they influence prices, right? So you will get, okay, all of these uh, posts, okay, in here under the most read section, all you have to do is click on the gamma. So let's get into this uh, chart in a bit more detail. Let me start with stripping all the elements of the chart. So we have price and we can take out the futures premium also, though I like to keep it over there. Now, the hero of this chart is uh, this uh, blue dotted line, which we call the gamma zero. To understand the concept of gamma, you'll have to okay, take one step back and look at the market through another lens. Now, what do I mean by that? So suppose, Let's say, suppose, okay, the Nifty is uh, 19,620 and uh, you have a bullish bias in the market and you go and buy two lots of the, let's say the Nifty 600 call, okay? And you're expecting, okay, your call to go up and your expectation is the market wants to go up even more from here. Now, that is your expectation. Now, in Gamma and understanding Gamma, we want you to take the focus away from what you are doing and place it on the other side. Now, who is gonna be the person who will sell these calls to you? So you are the buyer, you're waiting at 19,600, 620 to buy a 19,600 call. Somebody has to sell these calls to you. So in the entire probability, uh, in the entire market, uh, there are two probabilities over here. The person who is gonna sell you those calls is gonna be someone who bought a call some time back and is now looking to book profit. So you buy the call, he sells the call to you and the trade is done. Or, and this happens the majority of the time, the person on the other side is a large institution who is looking to get into a position for their portfolio for the overall account, which could include stocks and other derivatives as well. Now, 90% of the time, okay it is not a retail to retail trade 90 percent of the time so if you're looking to buy two calls of 19,600, the person selling to you will not be another retail person who is selling two lots to you right so 90 percent of the time okay it's always okay some big institution who's on the other side and because okay of their size they create liquidity in the market they are the ones okay who are responsible for every single trade going off fully now this is a known truth that uh, 70 percent of derivatives volumes are created by the big guys the the large fund houses the institutions they are the ones okay who are doing it so suppose okay you buy these two two lots of calls the person okay who's selling to you these two calls two lots only these two lots, okay, in their portfolio would be two out of about say 2,000 or 5,000 or even 10,000 short calls. Now, what really happens is, what really happens is these people, okay, who are doing these calls, taking these calls away from you, they are not directional traders, okay? So a common belief in the market is that because, okay, we buy long calls, we are directional, everybody else in the market is directional. That is not the truth of the market. The market, the big guys in the markets do not want to take a lot of exposure on directional plays. So they will always try to hedge that position. So this person who's taken this call from you and now is short of two lots uh, of 19,600 could be okay balancing okay some risk okay in his stock portfolio by adjusting for those short calls. The point over here is what we're trying to do over here is uh, we are trying we are trying okay to establish a position from the perspective of the other guy why is he doing it and by following a series of these kind of trades you understand quickly that the market okay is dominated by big funds who like to keep their portfolio of positions neutral so this particular blue line 
is the hero of this chart like i said it's currently at about 19600 and it tells us okay that this market is fairly well priced at 19600 now how do you get this uh, gamma line uh, you can go back and uh, you can have a look at uh, these gamma charts which we have on screen and this is okay from where you pick up okay the values so we have okay all the gamma values of the entire market over here so can you you can see over here the sum of the night at about 19600 the gamma value is highest which is why okay you get that blue dotted line at uh, 19600 in the nifty charts now this is the sum position of all the gamma exposure which is there in the market all the traders okay and uh, what we've done in spectrum is uh, once okay we know okay where the gamma zero line is we've established okay two other positions uh, based on this gamma zero line which we know and within which the market okay is got a fairly good chance of being gamma neutral now there is a difference okay between being delta neutral and being gamma neutral gamma neutral is a more proper hedging strategy used by all the big funds okay to trade right and the reason okay delta neutral does not really work that well is because all the positions okay which are built let's say okay at about 19600 uh, you take a position at uh, 19600 you take a position which is delta neutral so you are writing okay about 19600 uh, calls and 19500 uh, 19600 puts right so it's a 0.32 delta over here 0.38 the better delta neutral position is 19650 uh, for the prices okay of right now so that 0.52 and 0.48 but as price moves away and uh, around 19650 this delta is not expected to be the same so because of that the because okay delta does not move linearly what big money does is try to find the net gamma exposure they have for all their derivatives position so if you can look over here at the g value the g is the gamma and uh, it's about 20 right now so that's uh, divided by a thousand so that's uh, 0 0.020 uh, is the amount of change which will come in the delta as price moves right and uh, gamma uh, you will also quickly note is a uh, higher for strikes okay which are closer to the expiration than than otherwise so this is 20.79 for the 3rd of august 31st of august okay the gamma is only 8.91 and this is currently 20.79 uh, after friday's close but it is gonna go up to about 40 45 for an add the money call on wednesday or thursday that means okay that position will be more sensitive to price moves so so the picture in gam in in the spectrum chart will also keep changing as traders adjust that inventory of that so the particular gentleman who sold you those uh, two lots of short calls 19,600 uh, if the market climbs to 19,800 he is losing money on those two short call positions right and uh, those two okay would be a big uh, size in his portfolio he's losing money because okay he's on the short side of a trade you are making money but he is losing money so he has to come and adjust his exposure again and uh, he can adjust okay that exposure okay which is going wrong so you'll see periodically the market okay is going to move and this big money is going to be adjusting as we move and how do you know that you know that okay through these yellow lines okay so if they are covering their existing positions uh, and the market is going upwards you will see them okay covering those short calls or buying long futures this yellow line okay is going to be moving upwards on the other hand if they feel okay that the market is going down and they have to cover their positions okay uh, they you will see this mvis line going low right so these are the parameters of our spectrum chart uh, this is purely based on the positioning of uh, big money in the market and you have to okay look at everything together uh, the market is too big okay to make sense of it in one frame 
so nobody okay looks at what has happened in the past the past is always built into prices what big money does it tries to adjust itself for a potential move okay which can be a disruptor to their existing portfolio to their existing exposure of the market so it plans ahead what has happened in the past is already built in what can happen in the future what can happen okay before settlement is what they are worry of and they try okay to keep adjusting so these levels which are on screen currently okay they are showing you 19500 19800 and as long as price stays over here uh, within this bracket the big money is not going to be bothered too much about that existing inventory of theirs but the minute it goes up and down that means they are taking steps to ensure that the market is moving in their favor. Everybody okay, likes okay, to keep that position of theirs profitable. You and I also do it and so does big money. But what really happens okay, with big money exposure, when they do it okay, with their size and with the kind of trades and the volumes okay, they begin, they bring in they there is a lot of movement okay which is expected so you see a person okay with two lots cannot really okay move the market it's that huge but a person okay with about twenty thousand lots okay going in and about uh, three or four tranches together in about five minutes he's gonna be the one okay moving the market and you and i both know that there are a, a lot of these individuals who trade a lot of value via options so that changes the way okay they adjust to the market is the one okay which this chart tries to capture it's another way of looking at the existing inventory of the market and this one chart can give you all the information which is there yes okay you would also okay get to see it okay through an open interest chart and the open interest also is a very good indicator of the inventory of the market and uh, you can okay look at uh, the open interest through the oi visualization charts uh, this will tell you where okay the market is adjusting inventory so this is the change one uh, which is of today i like to look at the volume so it tells me okay that uh, the maximum volume okay for the previous day came in at the 19600 put okay this is the open interest picture of the market okay and uh, this over here is the gamma picture this takes a life of its own closer to wednesday and thursday when the gamma of the strike okay goes high so this uh, 20 over here uh, 0 0.020 actually is not big enough okay to move the market but when it reaches a value of about 0.45 that's the time okay these people are extremely careful and they are the ones okay who adjust so which is why okay you see those big moves okay on a wednesday you see that big move on the last move of uh, last uh, hour of uh, thursday settlement uh, this is all the gamma okay moving the market right so i leave you with this keep this chart open at all times the spectrum this is a one page look for you about the entire inventory of the options market and it will reflect all the change which is happening especially the one done by big money i hope okay this was helpful and uh, i'll come back okay with another video sometime later thank you